The report covered a wide range of activities which include characteristics of built-up structures, households and housing conditions, as well as agricultural activities of households, main sources of energy, households used for cooking, heating and lighting. Dwelling units make up most structures in the country at 60,8%, while improvised housing units were found mostly in urban areas at 33,4%. 53,4% of households used firewood as the main source of energy for cooking, while 45,6 households in Namibia used electricity as a source of energy for lighting. Electricity from gas, generators and wood were found to be the lowest. And most regions uh, used electricity from the main electricity supply, except for Kavango West, uh, which was only 6.9%, and Ohangwena, 8.5%. Electricity from um, mains, 69.7% uh, used for, uh, by urban households, while battery, lamp, torch, cell phone. This is now where I wanted to come in to say literacy statistics. 62% was used in the rural areas. When we were discussing before uh, we started with Esther, she was saying that uh, people who are not fortunate to have electricity in the rural areas will go and charge by the neighbors. Water supply points mapped were over 14,000 predominantly in rural areas with 88% compared to urban areas with 11%. 35% of households use piped water outside for cooking. Our census mapping exercise was unique because traditionally the census mapping is supposed to be a typical cartographic exercise which aimed to obtain the following a record or a list of dwelling units and other structures within the enumeration area. Number two, to, to enable you to find your way within the enumeration area more easily so that you visit all dwelling units in your assigned enumeration areas when doing enumeration. To identify all residential and non-residential structures in advance, including unoccupied, vacant and new dwellings under construction. More than 500,000 households were mapped with commas recording the highest number of 90,000 households. A total of 6,609 enumeration areas, which makes up all EAs in Namibia, were visited. Selman Vikwa, NBC News, Vantuk.